the legislation that we're introducing addresses the urgent need to designate a single secure facility for the detention and interrogation of current and future terrorists. It reaffirms Guantanamo Bay as the facility that should remain open for not only those who are currently detained, but for those who are captured in the future. It permanently limits the transfer of detainees to foreign countries, and it permanently prohibits the funding for the construction of terrorist detention facilities within the United States of America. I was disappointed earlier this week to hear Attorney General Holder say that the administration is still committed to closing Guantanamo Bay, despite the continuing need to have a secure location to detain terrorists, a location where we can gather intelligence to protect our country and prevent future terrorist attacks. Intelligence collected from detainee interrogations was important and key in making the bin Laden raid, the capture and kill of Osama bin Laden possible, and a significant portion of this information was obtained at the Guantanamo facility. As we have a facility, a top-rate detention facility, which should continue to remain open because, as we know, there are many terrorists still around the world uh, that we could capture tomorrow, that we could gain valuable intelligence from, and we need to know where we will put them where our intelligence officials will have access to them to get the information we need to protect our country.